and welcome. Katie here. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am back with another project for Miss Ink Stamps. And today I wanted to use some of the pigment powder backgrounds that I've had in my stash for a long time. And I thought this one would go perfectly with the Pine Forest stamp set. Uh, it's just this really nice line of pine trees. And uh, I'm going to use the Just a Note sentiment from the Magnolia Sympathy stamp set. And here's, this was actually the whole piece. Uh, and I just cut it in half and used my arch dies uh, from Spellbinders to be able to cut those out. And I cut everything. These are the frames. I made a, a frame to go around. And then I just cut all the arch pieces uh, for layering. But now we're going to do the stamping. I just used some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Uh, any black ink is going to work fine for this. Uh, I did not realize that my stamp, my panel had moved a little bit. So I actually, when I went back in to stamp again, it, it's got, you know, like the double stamping halo, but it actually looks okay. Uh, so I went with it. Um, and I'm just using just a little piece of the cardstock from one of the, you know, the arches frame that I cut out with the just a note. And I use the brilliance moonlight white pigment ink uh, for that sentiment. And then just took some scissors and trimmed it out. Uh, I wanted to have it, as you saw in the photos, as just like a little side banner uh, coming out from underneath the arch. Um, now, off camera, I did heat set this so that I could just quickly keep moving. Uh, if you don't want to heat set it, you know, obviously you can just throw some... Um, clear embossing powder on there or just set it off to the side to dry and give it some time to dry. Uh, but now we're just putting the panel together. Um, I love being able to take one stamp and, you know, use it with backgrounds and this Pine Forest stamp set really fit the bill. Um, it does remind me of a fiery pine forest where we live. Um, we're surrounded by pine trees and um, we actually have forest fires by us and they do a lot of controlled burns and recently one got out of hand um, but they were able to get it under control it just took several hours but uh, it reminds me of of that um, fire in the pines but here I just cut another piece of black cardstock to do a frame to uh, give that window look and then I put it onto an A2 size card base, white card base. Um, and these are just little uh, manicure Q-tips, precision tips. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, to clean up the liquid glue, um, I didn't want to mess around with any tape on the frame there. So the liquid glue worked out perfectly. Um, but... There is some perfect pearls. I'm going to show you here in a second, a little angle. There's a bit of shimmer on there. Uh, I just love how this panel turned out, and I hope you do too. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Be sure and check the description box below, and head on over to the Missing Stamps Facebook group and share what you're making. We'd love to see what you guys are doing. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next video.